Marion Fellows. Madam Deputy Speaker, a week, two weeks ago I wouldn't have been able to speak in this debate at all, but because of a, a very pressing constituency issue, I find myself suddenly having to read up, listen, and I've learned so much today about autism. My only previous experience was teaching some autistic uh, young men who passed through my hands as a former further education lecturer. I think I've become more and more aware of the crying need for raising awareness of autism at all levels, in the general public as well as with public authorities. And my honourable friend from Argyll and Butte mentioned the Scottish Government's plans for autism and their strategy. And as part of that, they opened six centres across Scotland to provide a one-stop shop experience for parents and people with autism. The one-stop shop in Motherwell will probably close in June this year. And since that has been announced, I have had innumerable emails from members of my constituency and from people out with, because the shop covers the whole of Lanarkshire, and that there are two local authorities involved, North Lanarkshire Council and South Lanarkshire Council, which are not now going to fund these shops, which is, as you can all imagine, is a devastating blow to my constituents and people across Lanarkshire. The one-stop shop provides workshops, <coughs> training for parents and professionals, and support services for those who have autism. And this is even before diagnosis. Anyone who thinks there may be an issue can go there and get advice. They were planning to run further courses for girls with autism, which is a very important area. And they were also hoping to run other specific and technical courses for parents and professionals. My local authority, North Lanarkshire Council, has indicated that it will continue to fund an organisation called Hope for Autism, which does good work with families in North Lanarkshire. But, however, they only get access after diagnosis, and it's mainly focused, their work is mainly focusing on socialising and is for children only. There is also an annual fee for parents and children who join this, and the fee is per child. This is devastating news, and it's I don't want to stand in this place and denigrate anything that Hope for Autism in North Lanarkshire has and will continue to do, but they are not providing the range of services that parents can access at present, and this is causing, as I have already said, great distress. I was unable to attend a meeting at the one-stop shop on Monday, but my office manager went and came back in tears almost at some of the stories that she heard. She said she found it most moving when parents said that they wished almost that their children had a visible disability, that they wished they had something else, because then they would get more help, more hope, and people would understand what was happening with their children. They found this really, and my, as I say, my office manager found this really, really heartfelt and really brought it home to her how little she knew as well about autism. Now, I don't think for one moment that North Lanarkshire Council is doing this out of badness. I know there are difficulties all over the UK in funding but I don't think they actually understand what the one-stop shop was actually providing. I have a list here of some of this, the wonderful work that they have done. They ran up workshops on visual issues and autism, sleep strategies by Sleep Scotland, support for young carers, autism and diet by the local NHS, not NHS Lanarkshire, autism and play, by a supportive Scottish Autism support team, a demand avoidant behaviour by PACT, which is the Paediatric Autism Consultancy Team, safe talk on autism awareness training by the Richmond Fellowship. All of this will be lost in my area and backed by, certainly. I'm very grateful to the Honourable Lady for giving way. Um, and I hope I've bought her an extra minute um, because um, I think it's very important what she's saying. Do you think, does she think that there is any possibility of that decision being reversed? 
Um, now she's making such a, a powerful case for keeping it open for her constituents and, and people beyond her constituency. I thank the Honourable Lady for her intervention and the time it may buy me. But, um, yes, I, I believe that possibly the parents, as you can imagine, are fighting hard to retain this and to convince both North and South Lanarkshire Council that this is a service that must be funded. It must be funded because of the great work that it does and the benefit it brings to anyone in North Lanarkshire and South Lanarkshire who is affected by autism. Some of the emails I have had are heart-wrenching. I have social isolation, nine-year-old children trying to kill themselves, and all of them say that the work that has been done here, and the staff in this, uh, this one-stop shop, two of the staff are seconded from Scottish Autism, two are people who will lose their jobs. They all have nothing but praise for the help that they have received. I'm sorry, um, Madam Deputy Speaker, I don't think I can say any more than otherwise that now I will help and I will go on and fight for this very, very valuable uh -huh. shop in Motherwell. Thank you.